Every time you drive a Tesla, you're feeding its hungry brain with real-world video data from its cameras and sensors. And what does Tesla do with all this data? It feeds it to Dojo, of course. Dojo is Tesla's supercomputer designed for computer vision, video processing, and recognition. It's supposed to train Tesla's machine learning models to improve its full self-driving advanced driver assistance system. You know, the one that lets you take your hands off the wheel and watch Netflix while your car drives itself. Well, not quite yet, but maybe someday. Dojo is not like conventional supercomputers that you might have heard of, like NVIDIA's A100 GPUs, IBM's Summit, or HPE's Cray Exascale. These are general purpose systems that can do a lot of things, like scientific research, complex simulations, and big data analytics. But they're not optimized for the specific task of real-world data-driven AI computer vision that Tesla needs. Dojo is different. It's it's specialized, it's focused, it's obsessed. It's designed to do one thing and one thing only. Process millions of terabytes of video data from Tesla's cars and turn them into self-driving algorithms. And it does it fast, really fast. You have maybe Google working on TPUs and so on. You have all, all these other uh, companies with ASICs. They're usually more kind of always thinking general. The interesting aspect uh, of Tesla is you have a company that is so singularly focused on solving a particular machine learning problem. Tesla says Dojo will hit 20 exaflops of processing power. Basically, it can handle 20 quintillion tasks in just a second. That's more than the combined power of the top 10 supercomputers in the world today. Insane. It all starts with Tesla's D1 chip. This chip is tiny but mighty, boasting 50 billion transistors. This chip is like a GPU level compute with a CPU level flexibility and twice the network chip level IO bandwidth. Now imagine this chip as a building block. When you connect multiple D1 chips, you get what's called a training tile. Six of these chips fit together in a hexagon shape on a circuit board. And this setup can do some heavy lifting with nine petaflops of power, but it doesn't stop there. Stack these training tiles and you create a computer cabinet. In one cabinet, you've got two stacks, or trays of these tiles, bringing you to a whopping 108 petaflops of power. Taking it a step further, stack these cabinets together and you have an exapod. One exapod houses 10 cabinets, reaching a mind-blowing one exaflop of power. And for the grand finale, combine 20 of these exapods and you get Dojo, which can achieve an astronomical 20 exaflops of processing power. That's a whole lot of power from starting with just one tiny chip. Are you still with me? Good. Dojo's main job is making Tesla cars even smarter. But after being announced in 2019 and finally being produced in August 2023, we learn it's not just about cars. Elon Musk, being his ambitious self, says Dojo can process video data at a rate of a thousand frames per second. He's even pitched it as the world's best AI trainer. And here's the twist. Dojo might also power Tesla's upcoming humanoid robot. Imagine a robot doing all the tedious stuff we don't want to. And yeah, it's using the same tech as Tesla cars. So what's the vibe on Dojo? Impressed? Pumped? A tad nervous? It's changing the game in supercomputing and AI, and it's just the beginning. Thanks for sticking around for the Dojo lowdown. Got questions? Shoot, just don't ask about my inner workings. That's top secret stuff. This is AI Girl signing off.